In this video update, I'm looking at MHL again and how you can use it to connect your smartphone or tablet to an LCD monitor or your TV. My previous video wasn't shot in the best circumstances, so hopefully this answers all your questions about passive and active MHL, as well as Samsung's implementation and how to use it to connect to even an LCD monitor with a DVI. So to start off, I'm going to take a look at Active MHL. And the difference here is Active MHL typically requires separate USB power. So both these are Active MHL adapters. This one just happens to include a micro USB cable um, for power, as well as the HDMI cable. So whereas this one, you plug in your own HDMI cable, um, this one has it built in, but they're both the same. So to start off, just going to address this quickly. MHL typically uses a 5 pin micro USB connector, but Samsung has their own uh, version of it which uses 11 pins. So they sell this adapter which turns 11 pin into 5 pin. So, fortunately, this adapter is very cheap. Uh, in Canada, this is about $5. You can probably get it on eBay for less. And it plugs into the bottom of the phone and then plugs into the adapter. So, whether you've got a USB 3.0, or 2.0, it just plugs into the micro USB port. And then the adapter plugs into it. Same thing here. And once you've done that, you just plug the MHL adapter into your display. To use an active MHL adapter, you're going to plug it into your phone. Remember that Samsung phones require this special adapter, but other manufacturers use standard MHL 5 pin, which doesn't require the adapter, so Sony, LG, and others. If the adapter doesn't have a built in HDMI cable, you can use any standard HDMI cable. So you're going to plug that in. And then here, depending on the phone, you're going to have to supply it with external USB power. So this is a standard micro USB cable. I'm going to plug it into the adapter. And fortunately, most new TVs have USB ports for viewing photos and stuff, so I'm going to use that to power the MHL adapter. Once you plug it in, you'll see your image is mirrored up on the TV. It does work in both portrait and landscape. And the image is scaled up. So the S3 is only a 720p display, but the TV will show that the image is 1080p. Scrapping the remote. And if you hit display, you'll see that it is 1080p. The power requirement is dependent on the phone. So for example, if I unplug the power cable from an S3, mirroring stops working. However, if I plug it into the newer Galaxy S5, Again, without power, it will work. Just going to go into something with porch uh, landscape, and there it is. Repeating the exact same thing with another active MHL cable. This one just happens to have built-in cabling. Just going to plug it in. And again, not using the power, I can plug it into an S5. And it'll work. However, if I plug it into an S3,
it won't work until I plug in external power. Next up, to show that it does work with any HDMI display, this is an iInc IF281D LCD monitor. So this is a regular computer monitor with an HDMI input. So I'm going to plug it into the Galaxy S5. Again, the Galaxy S5 doesn't require power, but other phones will, and you'll see it's mirrored up on the screen. If you do use it with an older phone, you are going to have to provide micro USB power again. But this does show that it works with any HDMI display. Lastly, to show that it does work with DVI, I've got a DVI to HDMI adapter, and again I'm using the active MHL uh, adapter. Again, I'm going to use the S5 just so it's simple and I don't have to power it, but it, it does work with any uh, MHL capable device. Okay. Landscape, portrait, and everything's mirrored. Hopefully that clears up any questions about active MHL. It supports full 1080p video, up to 7.1 surround sound. Depending on your phone, you may not need external USB power. If you do plug in the external USB, it will charge your phone, and it will work with any HDMI and even DVI displays. Passive MHL is available on newer LCDs and TVs with a specific MHL HDMI port. So once you plug in the HDMI cable, you're going to plug it into your phone. And again, you'll see it mirrored up onto your TV. both portrait and landscape. So the advantage is passive MHL only requires a single cable and it does charge your phone as well. For passive MHL the biggest advantage is there's only a single cable no, no extra USB and it does simultaneously charge your phone. The disadvantage is it only works with newer MHL equipped HDMI ports. Both passive and active MHL allow you to use your TV's remote to control your phone. So whether you prefer active MHL or have a newer display that supports passive MHL, it's a quick and easy way and often cheap way to connect your smartphone to your TV. This StarTech cable costs $12. You can typically get active MHL cables on eBay or Amazon for anywhere from $8 to $15. If your phone doesn't have an HDMI output, MHL is typically what your phone will support. So again, read the description, visit the MHL website, and hopefully this answers all your questions about MHL. Once again, thanks for watching.